Happy New Year to everyone. I hope you are well. This is a, another video for Paper Rose and I am Nat Walsh. I am playing with the Happy New Year stamp. So cool stamp. I'm also going to use some of the fireworks stencil. I had another plan for this card. I wanted to use the balloons out of another stamp set and they were just a bit too small. So we evolved. We evolved and we played, we're going to play with the fireworks stencil instead, which is all good. I am stamping this down a fair bit because the lines in this you can see are pretty intricate and some of them are pretty solid like the happy new year is, is pretty solid I did go down you've got so you can see my ink there I was going to go down an aisle of using something else and having it a little bit more colorful but it wasn't working I'm taking this stencil as a couple of levels not just that one being a firework one firework and the other ones being another one I'm going to layer them up and I think it works really really good I really like how it turned out I'm masking off the edges just to make sure I don't go too crazy with my ink and just making sure that I have a nice covering on all my panels. I have put a little bit of tape down on my cardstock. I am going to trim this down a fair bit so I'm not worried about losing a bit of space. So that's not even up which is perfectly fine so there's you've got fireworks happening over another fireworks I cut my happy new year out of the stitch circle and one of the dies in that just fitted it perfectly so that worked out I'm trying to mask off all my circles all my fireworks that just I didn't want I wanted to isolate some of my images so all of these are going to be purple we've got lilac and we've got grape as i thought about doing on other ones but it just it just no it's not working the way i wanted it to work so we went to stage attempt number two plan b again just masking that off And I'm rotating between the lilac and the grape as I said but some of these I've done the darker one on the top so these ones I've pretty much done the darker one darker color the grape color on top whereas I think the next one I'm actually going to swap that around I'm going to have the darker one on the bottom a little bit just cleaning off my Just trying to figure out placements just cleaning off my stencil there working out where i want my next one so they're all going to be sort of behind my happy new year and this time we're just going to i'm going to do the darker color first Clean that off as I go just trying to it's a wet baby wipe but it's not a very very wet baby wipe and just again masking off the images that I don't want so I don't get anything that is untowards on my panel the brushes that I'm using are paper rose brushes they come in a little they have like a little hood little jacket so to speak on the around around the top so it's really handy when you are traveling to 
not have ink everywhere because I've had that happen and I swapped over these brushes just before I was on their their design team because spoiler alert I'm on their design team and totally enjoying myself but before I did that before I joined up I actually had a lot of paper rows to begin with and I had their their brushes in this stamp set you might be able to see there is quite a few stars in the middle of each sort of row there's some stars you do have to be a little bit careful with placing them placing mm. the tape because you will get some stick on it but you were seeing not this one but i think it's the next one you'll I'll end up with a little bit of extra that i need to tap off like more than that more than that let's just say i've used a versa mark just to tap it onto the stars where the holes are for the stars that's why we've masked off a lot because you have a lot less control and you're going to see it again here we're going to put our anti-static pad down and just tap the corner now what you can't see is i've actually got my head really low just make sure that i've got it all covered and that's a little bit of stars a little bit of glitter well we're going to add some more glitter but a little bit of, of gold accent shall we say next thing we've got a piece of cardstock which is measures about 14.1 by I can't think of what the other coat the other piece 14.1 by 10 centimeters don't ask me about that in inches and I if you have some gold for your cardstock you could use that but I did not apparently I do not have any so I have to put that on my list for after after Christmas because at the moment when you're seeing this after Christmas but I am currently voicing this before Christmas currently it is the 21st of December so the shops are starting to close for the holiday break which is wonderful for them to have a nice relaxing time so we're going to just use a bit of gold embossing to get around that fact i've laid it up with a bit of foam tape and the same as you can see there with my sentiment and our card is almost done so we're going to place that down i'm going to place it onto my cardstock because for once i actually remembered to do this before i put my stickers on which does not happen very often at all but in this situation it's going to happen make sure it's all nice and straight and the lucky last is we're going to use a bit of stardust stickles i did wonder about the diamond but it throws up a lot of yellow so we're going to go with the stardust stickles and some of them i'm just doing dots some of them i've got little stripes little lines that follow out with the the fireworks and that is my card if you like this video hit the subscribe button and hit the like button and i will talk to you very soon take care bye